then your answers aren't going to make sense to you below. So you're probably going to want to write this very problem in your notebook. So Betty and John collect stamps. Betty had 16 more than John. Write an expression to represent their total stamp collection. And this is actually kind of tricky. That's why I saved this for today. And you have to know how to do this next year. I still have a uh, freshman come to me and ask me how to do this uh, for Alpha 1. Because they get confused about it. And it, it, it is kind of tricky. So you have to know how to do some of these next year. So that's why we're taking a day on it. Ready and done. So we're not going to solve how many they have in the whole stamp collection, but we're going to write an expression to show what is equal or what the total is in the stamp collection. So you're still going to have an x, you're still going to have a variable. Uh, we won't be able to solve it, but we can simplify as hard as possible. Okay? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make a table. Okay, that's the easiest way I can show you how to do this, make a chart. So in this case, who do I have in my problem? I have Betty, and I have John. And this column is going to be their total stamps. We don't need the second column, we just want more. So Betty and John collect stamps, Betty has 60 more than John, writing expression. So what is something they tell us? Like what's one piece of information they tell us, Haley? Betty has 16 more. Okay, Betty has 16 more. Do we know how many John has? We don't know how many John has at all. So what can John's stamp collection be? What can it be? X. Yeah, X. So beside John, that's how many stamps he has. We don't know. He has X stamps. Now the hardest part to do is Betty. What do we know about Betty? She has how many more? 16, 16 more. So what is this going to look like in here? What do you think? Plus 16. Okay, you're missing something. What are we missing there, Bella? You're, cl you're close. You're close. Okay, it's going to be... You think X plus 16? Yeah, it's going to be X plus 16. Now why? Why is it going to be X plus 16, Haley? Why do you think? Because um, John's number plus 16. Okay, John's number plus 16 more. That's how many Betty has. Mm -hmm. Yep. So John has this many stamps. Betty has John's amount plus her 16 more. Now in the end it says write an expression to represent the total stamp collection. Well, if I want to find the total of something, what am I going to do? Add them. So I'm going to take what John has and what Betty has. Look, I already have the answer there for you. Let me know your answer. Now what Together, I'm going to put this as a one and this one to see. This is what Betty had. This is what John had. Now I'm going to add them together. And what does that expression totally look like? Well, I have two X's plus 16. That's my answer. This would have been way too much stuff for yesterday. <laughs> That's all I'm looking for. That's the total amount of stamps John and Betty have right Right. All right, ready to try another? Ready to try another? Okay, so you and a friend work at a store. Now you don't have to write this stuff word for word, it's up to you. How are you gonna, Betty, are you and a friend work at a store? You work four hours more than your friend. Write an expression to represent the total. <coughs> You want to try it yourself. You're more than welcome to try it yourself.
the table is moving at the table. That's actually another guy that's using a teacher next to me at the table. I'm glad we're not there. All right, so what's your table look like? What do you got in it? You and a friend, probably? You, friend. Okay. What person's going to have the X? What person's going to have the X? What do you think, Desi? Your friend. Your friend. Why your friend? Because we don't know much about friends. But well, what do we know about you? You were for more, more hours than that friend, right? So what does this look like, fellow? Four plus four x. Plus sure. Either way, x plus four, four plus x, because you're gonna do what your friend work plus four more hours. So if we add these together, what's the total? What's the total, Haley? Two x plus four. Two x plus four. Yep. Good job. Let's make it a little trickier now. It's not really that tricky. So you just got a third thing you're adding in. Okay, so now you're going to go for lunch, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. You go for lunch, and you spend four more dollars on Tuesday than on Monday. You spend two times more on Wednesday than Monday. Find an expression. Now, really, it's not trickier. We're just adding another thing to our table. That's all. We're just adding another thing to our table. If you get done and you want to try it, you can try it. You might as well. Two more seconds to try something. If you don't want to, you can sit more. You want to try it? What are you going to put in your table? What, what are the things you're going to list? Probably Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, right? Monday. Ah, not very good at you, right? Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay, so what do we know? I would start with the first sentence. You spent four more dollars on Tuesday than on Monday. So first of all, maybe I should ask you, where should just the loan X go? Where should the loan X go, Alex? Monday. Monday, yep. Okay. And then if we go to Tuesday, it says you spent four more dollars on Tuesday than on Monday. So what does Tuesday look like? Uh, Ella. X plus four. X plus four. Then it says you spent two times more on Wednesday than on Monday. So what does Wednesday really look like? Alex? Two X. Two X, two times X, yep, same thing. 
Monday was the day that we just spent something. Tuesday, we spent that something plus four. Wednesday, we spent two times that something. Now, if I have to add these all together, combine them all, two, three, four x's, plus four. To be ready. So how are we doing? So far, so good. You got to tell me what you need. We're going to do one more of these, and I'll have you do it by yourself. And I won't say a word. I won't even read it. Last one. Last one. Here you go. Hopefully, I can't tell what the answer is. I'm going to move it later. You're going to do lunch again, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. On Saturday, you spent $6 less on Sunday than on Sunday. On Friday, you spent three times more than on Sunday. Right? An expression to find the total spent. Which day has the X? The lone X. The lone ranger. If you're not sure, think of what day everything keeps going back to. That's a good indicator. We get the hang of it. Get the hang of it. It can be tricky. Can we do another second yet? Can we do another second? All right. Who's gonna tell me about it? Who's gonna tell me about it? What did you do? How'd you set up your table? Alice, go ahead. Um, I put the loan X on Sunday. Okay. And then Saturday was X minus six. Correct. And Friday was three X. Yep. And it came out as five X minus six. Five X minus six. How we do? Good? Good, nice job. Okay, this is what I want you to do. I want you to open your books. Open your books. Two page, 302. Page 302. And we're going to practice again, just reading a problem from the book instead of one from me. Now, at your seat, this isn't your homework yet, okay? At your seat, I want you to do numbers 33 and 36. So at your seat, this is not your homework yet, you're doing 33 and 36. Okay? When you're done with them, I want you to get up and talk to somebody about them. Like, actually get out of your seat, walk over to somebody, and talk to them about what you have for answers. Number 36 can be kind of tricky. Okay? So do your best. Try number 33 and 36. And then I literally want you to get up and talk to somebody about it. What's your math for? Okay?
table. You're done. Go ahead and stand up. I see some people are done. Go find somebody else. You're still working. Keep working. That's okay. You can keep working. So we know we are in the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday again. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay. So where should your loan X be? Where should it be? Is it Tuesday? No, it's Monday. It should be Monday. Let's see. I gotta read it again. Monday, Rebecca sent me dollars a month. It should be I guess it should be Lisa. She spent 50 cents more on Tuesday. So what should Tuesday look like? Your X plus your 50 cents, right? Now here's the tricky one. On Wednesday, it doubles what you did on Tuesday. So now what should Wednesday look like? 
If it double, if this doubles, what was that? X plus two X plus one. X plus one. Okay, but two X should be two X plus one because if you double it, it's going to be this twice. X plus six tenths. X plus six tenths. That makes sense because you're doubling what's going on there. Yeah. Wait, but if you already doubled it, why would there still be the two on the top? Well, it would look like this. Technically, it looks like this. But if you just think about it, really, it's you're doubling it. It would look like this. That's like your one, that's your second one. I'm just writing it in a simpler format. Yeah, but if you already doubled it, then what is, why would you still have the two x? Because I have to have two x's on what's in it. If I double it, I'm going to have two x's and I'm going to have two fifty cents. That's the easiest way I can explain it. I'm so confused. I don't understand. Okay, so on Tuesday, I'm going to take this whole thing and I'm going to double it. So I'm going to take that whole thing times two. Yeah. So if I use my distributive property, does anybody else have an easier way to explain it than me? I just you might. I just don't get it. Since you already doubled it, why would you still have the two x? Because then, but I don't think you again. I, I but I just doubled this. I also have to double that because I doubled the whole thing. Everything they spent on Tuesday, it's getting doubled, not oh, just the fifty cents. So the x has to get doubled too. Yes. Yes. Uh, so the x has to double to so it's x plus 50 cents. And then now if we double everything, we're going to double this and double this. This is what it looks like. Now if you add everything together, you should get 4x's plus your dollar 50. That's where you're going to start a little bit over. Okay? Does that make sense now? You probably did good Monday and Tuesday. That Monday was a hard one. That was a hard one. All right, so here's your homework for today. Four square problems, just what we've done on the board. This is this is even the hardest one that you're going to do today. Okay. On starting on page 301, there are two square problems on the bottom. I should write this up here. 13 and 14. Okay. So you're doing 13 and 14 on 301, and 34 and 35 on 302. And this is probably the shortest assignment you will ever have in class. <laughs> if you work on it, you can probably get it done. And all the things that we did in class. Make sure you're reading everything carefully. Make a chart for yourself. 